mean, I try my hardest. I think I left my heart out on that field. And, um, of course, I mean, it's something that uh, is heavy on the heart. And um, it's going to be tough. Uh, but, I mean, I'd rather, I don't want to go out there with anybody else. I love my teammates so much that we put everything on the line, and um, I would never want to do it with anybody else. So, What this guy did and the way he competed in, in the second half with all those things, all those things coming at him, um, I just can't say enough. I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of, of the way he played. It wasn't well, He's not the only one, but he's sitting right here, and he's the quarterback of this team. And just the way that he attacked this game, um, I, mean, I, I couldn't be any prouder of the way he did that because, like you said, that we were missing some guys out there. We were, we were trying to figure it out, and... Um, you know, in the biggest stage, played one of his best games, in my opinion. I think at the end of the day, we were we had the mindset that we didn't let everything hang. We're going to go out, we're going to fight as hard as we can, we're going to swing as hard as we can. And I feel like we did that. Um, we were very efficient in the past game. Uh, the run game started rolling a little bit, uh, got a, a lot of positive runs. Um, and I felt like we were very efficient. Um, just a couple of those drives where uh, maybe that I missed a read or protection broke down, I got sacked, um, whatever the case may be. Um, maybe those were the reasons why we lost. I mean, no one really knows, man. So uh, we got to get on the film and see what, see what went on. And um, But I'm proud of my guys. I can never uh, – I can't say too much about how we fought. Like, it was time and time and time after again that we just kept swinging, kept fighting, kept swinging, kept fighting. And, I mean, it is what it is. So, I mean, uh, of course, uh, you're going to have some regrets on certain plays and wish you did this, wish you did that. Um, but at the end of the day, man, uh, it's a man in the arena. Um, it's hard to do what we do. It's hard. But it's a blessing at the same time. So you got to be joyful in these type of moments. Um, of course, I'm not sitting here smiling happy, but, I mean, God, God is he's still amazing to me. He still blesses me, blesses Coach, blesses Zach in so many ways. And, I mean, um, of course, you want to win things like this, and um, this means a lot to us. I mean, <laughs> me, me and Coach Dave, man, like, we get up early every morning on the phone constantly, whatever we can do to win and put smiles on people's faces. And, I mean, it's, it's tough. Uh, my mom, she goes through a lot. His, his, uh, Coach Dave's wife goes through a lot. Um, my family, people from home. But I wouldn't regret anything. I wouldn't take anything back. And um, I'm, I'm blessed to have a coach like Coach Day. I'm blessed to have my teammates that I have. And I wouldn't want to go out there and do anything with anybody else. Coach Hart, too. Coach Hart. Yep. Yeah. Um, really, everybody. So, like, we really were dialed in on what we were going to do. And I feel like we did that. And Coach Day called a hell of a game. Um, our, our game plan was superb. Uh, we have so many, like we said, we have 1,500 reps. So it's like when we were out there, it's kind of like you knew it was kind of going to happen. And um, when you're playing like that, I mean, you're playing free. You're playing, you're having fun. I, I think that was one of the most fun games I've ever been played in my life. That probably was the fun game, most fun game I've ever played in my life. And it just sucks that it has to come down like that. But, I mean, God's plan is, 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 is something that you don't really understand in the moment. It's something that you, you really won't understand maybe ever. But he thinks greater than us. He knows we're greater than us. And he does greater than us. So, I mean, that was his plan for that to happen. And um, Georgia's defense, uh, offense, I mean, they fought too. A hell of a team, great team. Uh, Coach Smart, uh, Coach uh, Muschamp, D.C., um, did a hell of a job. Um, but I, I think we should have won the game, of course. I definitely think we should have won the game. So, um, just got to lick our wounds and keep going. But. And Coach Day did a hell of a job, man. His leadership and even though people would talk and talk and do this and do that and it doesn't, like he just keeps showing up. And when you see a man like that, that's a true man, a man in the arena. And uh, really everybody on our team, we didn't splinter. We didn't we didn't turn the eye to eye and start pointing fingers when we lost. We we owned up our mistakes and we just kept fighting, we kept swinging like our culture is. And I mean, I wouldn't want to play for anybody else, we'd play with anybody else. So I mean. Uh, I'm Coach Day, <laughs> hell of a coach. I think everybody who doesn't see CJ as an elite quarterback is, I don't know, for lack of better terms, an idiot. He's one of the most talented people I've ever played with, not just in football, but um, he's a phenomenal leader. I've said that many times. Um, I feel like for some reason people don't believe me. And then eyes go to him in tough situations, and he's able to rally us. He's one of the most cool, calm, and collected guys I've ever been around. Um, so. Uh, for people to discredit what he's done here, 
um, and for people to, you know, look at him and, you know, say that he hasn't won, you know, really anything at Ohio State. Um, I would say that the he is the quarterback, but you know, there's it's a team sport. You know, there's multiple factors that go into everything. So, um, you know. He might surprise some people, but he won't surprise me with the stuff he does um, in his future. Oh, well, CJ's one of those dudes who doesn't really, he doesn't really care what the media says about him or what anybody else has to say about him. He cares, you know, about his inner circle. He cares about what everybody in the Woody has to say about him. And, uh, you know, he's been saying it for a while. Now, he doesn't need to prove everybody else wrong. He just needs to prove the ones that love him right. So he's been living by that motto for a long time. And, uh, you know, seeing him go out there and put everything on the line like that today, I mean, I feel like that just shows the kind of person he is and the kind of leadership skills that he has.